Okay, hello and welcome to another episode of Arcade Assault. Today, I don't want to be in fear mode. I want to quickly be on options just to double check all the settings I need. So, today, uh, we're going to be playing Tekken 4. I'm going to do story mode. Honestly, Arcade mode is basically the exact same thing, only with a couple of cutscenes here and there. So, I'm just going to set away with Combat, and I will explain what I'm doing as we go, after Combat's story plays out. Combat is a general-purpose humanoid robot, unlike any other developed to date. Its powerful learning AI enables it to perfectly mimic any human motion, captured on its mocap sensor arrays. This ability makes combat suitable for a wide range of applications, anything from household tasks to military duty. This particular unit was customized for hand-to-hand -hand combat. The developer's plan called for combat to memorize each type of fighting style as it progressed through the tournament. The end result would be the most powerful hand-to-hand -hand fighter on Earth. Basically, I like it. I do like how the story basically tells you, hey, this is why combat can't mimic every single fight at the same time. Okay, I got Julia Chang for stage one. This isn't great for me. But okay, so basically, here's the plan. Uh, I'm doing... So this week is Evo. Oh, like Evo is at the end of this week. And this... So for this week, I am doing fighting games. Nothing but fighting games. Games. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to be doing Arcade... I'm... There, words. I'm going to be doing episodes of Arcade Assault Monday to Friday this week. And then we'll be starting something new on Monday, probably. But, basically, we'll be doing episodes uh, Monday to Friday. It, it... And they'll just all be fighting games. And then, uh, what I... And I... So, I think... Pools should have like pools will have started on the Friday, if, when the final episode of this goes up. So uh, I mean obviously I won't be able to go because you know still kind of broke, but uh, but, you know I'm just uh kind of I'm just gonna you know celebrate fighting games in a, you know a way that I can, 
And, but for those of you who are going, uh, I hope you all have a great time. And for those of you who are competing, I hope hope you do well. Good luck. Look, best of luck. Uh, hopefully you don't do, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully you avoid 0-2. I, 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 I know I would be going 0-2. No. But yeah, uh, good luck to... Ver Good luck to all of you who are going, and yeah, hopefully we can just, uh, you know, all enjoy fighting games for this week. Also, I am baffled at how I've managed to win that first try, because I cannot play Julia Chang at all. Like, I've never been good with her in any of the games. Uh, I think this is Nina? Is it? Yes, this is Nina. Okay. I mean, I say that like I have any idea what I'm doing playing Nina, but, well... Well, I don't know. There's characters that I'm less familiar with, but uh, but out of the classic characters, I suppose, like out of the characters that have been in like every game, I feel like Nina's the one I'm worse with. Like I'm not amazing with King, but like I can at least do a couple of things. Like I'm not doing the chain grabs. I wish I could. Like honestly, I should probably sit and like practice how to do those. But, but uh, yeah. Wait, that worked. Okay, we're getting so we're getting somewhere. Also, kind of amazing how you know uh, I've played so many so much. Why didn't I just do that again? I should have just done that a second time. I'm when for, and when they're fallen, oh, and that would just one round out right for me. Anyway, yeah. So pretty much, uh, yeah. I'm just going to be doing arcade assault episodes this week. I'll have like a little graphic thing. To be like, hey, this is what we're doing. doing. So, uh, pretty much, it won't all be the same series. Series, it'll be five different fighting games from five different series, and hopefully, we can get through without too much hassle. Round one. Okay, okay, we got Lei. Lei is, like, Lei is one of those super weird characters to me, where it's like I feel like I know what I'm doing playing him. But I also absolutely know that I have no idea what I'm doing playing him. I also, I'll be honest, if I'd remember, like, if I knew how to, like, I know that it's a basic combo, but I don't remember how to do, uh, what should we call it? I don't know how to do the bow and arrow kick with Julia. If I'd remembered that in stage one, we probably would have been doing a bit better. Okay, is, is she gonna move? Okay, I, I spent the entire, I spent the entire time doing that and just, no, didn't fall for it. We're not having it. Okay, that headbutt did decent damage for me, though. Also, I don't know what causes it, or even if it's in this game. I imagine it must be. But yeah, like, Lei is one of those, uh, like, he's one of those really weird characters for me where it's like, I feel like I know what I'm doing playing him, but I also know that I don't. Because it's like, I don't know, he's one of my, like, you know those characters that you like, but you're just not good with? He's one of those, it was for me, I think. I mean, to be fair, that, I feel like that could be a statement I could levy towards a lot of Tekken characters. Perfect, we got them, perfect. Okay, we are now, like, on stage four, whether any continues, I'm baffled by this turn of events. Okay, we got Yoshimitsu up next. I do really like this Yuta sign for Yoshimitsu. Actually, this is like his player 2 1. Like, his player 1 1 is where he has, like, uh, his player 1 look in this one. He has the kind of, like, he has a kind of beetle aesthetic to him, and it looks super cool. Honestly, I'm baffled at how I managed to block most of that. Also, I think we're Paul currently? Yes, we are currently Paul. Good to know. Uh, block low, block high. I didn't... I think that might have been an overhead, or maybe an unblockable, I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't think I knew enough about Yoshimitsu to be able to say for certain, but either way, I'm not too happy about getting hit by all that. Also, uh, I feel like my ability to play Paul would increase significantly if I knew how to do Phoenix Smasher consistently. But again, I am playing this on a D-pad, so uh, might not be the most optimal. But anyway... And we managed to take a round, so it could definitely be worse. Like, I think it is... Like, I want to say it's just like a quarter circle forward. Like, I want to say it's just like a Hadouken motion. Also, I kind of wanted to go for Burning Fist and try to see if I... 
That was so close. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, I probably shouldn't. Also, I always... Yeah, we lose. Okay. I shouldn't have gone... I shouldn't have tried going for Burning Fist like three times in a row, but... Eh, it happens sometimes, you know? Okay, so, who do we get this time? Okay, this time we're Brian. I... I feel, like, somewhat confident playing Brian Fury, because I remember, like, three of his moves that I can always just rely on. Also, I don't know what the difference is. Like, if it does more damage with... Like, this kick, I don't know if it does more damage if I hold it, or, like, what its deal is. I don't know why I can hold it. I imagine it must do a little bit more damage if I do, but, well, I'd have to hit it twice in a row to, uh, to find that one out. So maybe that's a job for future me in practice mode. I'm baffled at how I managed to anti-air that, but okay. Okay. Sorry, Yoshimitsu, but you gotta go, buddy. I mean, technically, it makes sense why I would win this as Brian against Yoshimitsu, because that's, like, the canon matchup. Although, I'm pretty sure Yoshimitsu's, like, meant to win. Oh, no. This is close. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. We, we lost one round, but we had, we had a bit of leeway. We had the leeway that was winning round one. Also, I know that I kind of rely on the same, like, kind of three or four moves. Oops. But hey, it, it seems to work, and also, oh, I think some of, admittedly, some of them are just the moves that I remember. Okay, some of them are just moves that I remember. Others are just moves that I think look cool, so I always kind of rely on using them. Like, when I eventually get Lee in this, if I eventually get Lee, uh, I will attempt to land this one move, and I know I won't, and I will probably throw matches trying to do it. Okay, we got Christy for this one. Also, I should probably just ramble on about Tekken 4 itself, because Tekken 4 is... It's regarded, from what I've seen, a lot of people regard it as, like, just, like, a weak link in Tekken, and I feel like that's kind of an unjustified reputation. Like, I understand it, but I feel like it's maybe not the most justified. Like, I get that... Like, I get the understandable complaint about some uneven terrain on a fighting game stage, which I can make buttons with. But, like, in general, I feel like there's a lot of good in Tekken 4. And, obviously, uh, the people over at Namco must have realized and thought there was a lot of potential whiff if the system when it came to, like, wall bounces and stuff. Of course, well, wall combos have become a staple of the series ever since. It's, like, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah, like, <laughs> they've been in the series a very long time now. Also, we are going to lose to Panda. I think. Outside chance, I might pull it back. No, okay. Okay, so, and also, um, Tekken 4 is also a, well, it introduced a good, f like, it didn't introduce a good few, but it introduced a few kind of characters that would become fan favorites. Like, Christy was introduced. Just like I don't know how I don't know how popular she is like in comparison to Eddie. Also, we did get Lee here. I don't know. I don't remember the move that like combos into it though. Oh wait, that was it. That was it. That was it. Also, I don't have. He doesn't have his specific kick in this one. Okay, I'm still gonna try to land this though. Even if I lose, if I land this, I'll be satisfied. So. But yeah, uh, like, Tekken 4 was when, technically, Lee was reintroduced as Violet. Also, I love, something I've always loved about Lee is, uh, just the whip sound on, on that knee. And also, we just lost to Bear Hug. So yeah, basically, uh, introduced Krusty, she's pretty well received. Introduced Marduk. Like, in general, I think people kind of like Marduk. Like, also, he's just kind of really cool. And also, it introduced Steve, which, honestly, it's kind of wild to me that Tekken got to, like, four mainline installments without a boxer character. Like, that is kind of wild. Because, like, if I... Like, to be totally... If I'm being totally honest, if I was making a fighting game, I feel like... I, uh, if I'm making a fighting game, I feel like the archetypes, like, Boxer is, like, one of the immediate ones that comes to mind. 
it's like you get a boxer, you get a wrestler, uh, you get like uh, normal martial artists, and then you get like assorted martial artists and stuff. And then, and then obviously you have your weird picks. Like, you know, like your Yoshimitsus and Tekken, your Voldus and Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur probably isn't the best example for this, but hey, uh, well, we won while playing Yoshimitsu, and now we have to fight King. King is such a good grappler. I love King. He's so cool. Oh, we also got Steve. Cool. I feel somewhat confident playing Steve, but I'm not amazing with him specifically in Tekken 4. Like, you know, like, it's when, it's kind of that thing where, like, you know how to play a character in a later game, but, like, you go back to, like, their first appearance and it's like, oh, oh, they don't have some of their moves yet. Also, I will say I love this stage. This stage is so cool. Okay. Okay, am I just gonna get hit with the entire chain grab? Because I don't know how to break that. I don't know how to break the chain grab. <laughs> you know what? I can't even be mad at that. Like, genuinely, I cannot even be mad at about that. But yeah, like, Steve is a really cool character. I'm not amazing with him, but, like, he is a character that I did start to really like in Tekken 5. Admittedly, I didn't really like him much in Tekken 4, probably because when I was a kid playing this for the first time, I was thinking, wait, what do you mean I, what do you mean I don't have kicks? And then it's like, oh, oh, this actually makes sense. He's a boxer. Why would he kick? I mean, technically, Steve does have a couple of kicks, but like, I have gotten punished by that suplex on, I think, every move. <laughs> anyway, uh, I should... I started rambling about what about this stage and why I love this stage. I love this stage because of its sound design. And, like, it's an underground parking lot, so it, I don't know how well it's coming across, but, like, all of the sounds in the stage just echo. I love that effect for it. Like, I think that's so cool. J just like a shining wizard. The shining wizard is also cool. And, you know, so it's just an ordinary suplex. Like, I know. Sometimes, sometimes you just love to see just a clean, normal suplex, you know? Wait, who did I get here? I think this is Kazuya? I want to say this is Kazuya. No, it's Marduk. It's Marduk. It's Marduk. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, Marduk is a really cool character. I cannot play him. Um, like, at all. Like, I love that kind of rolling kick, but yeah, I can't play Marduk at all. Like, he's one of those characters where, like, I normally see him in arcade mode, and it's like, yes, a free win. And then it's like, I remember playing a couple of matches online, and, and against one in Tekken 7, and it's just like, oh no. Oh, it's like, oh no. He's doing the, he's doing the combos. <laughs> Fortunately, when in doubt, this... Fortunately, uh, jumping four never fails. It might fail, because we're on the highest difficulty. But you know what? It consistently helps. Okay, Russian leg sweep there. A drop kick into the wall. And we are absolutely losing here. No doubt. Unless I make just... Unless I make a massive comeback. Nah, just a clean boot to the head and we are done. Okay, stage six. We're still on stage six. There's only eight stages. We're, we're most of the way there. Okay, we got Law. I can play Law. Uh, he doesn't get another move that I really like until... I don't know if it's five or six. But uh, he has most of what I know with him now. And by that, I mean... Uh, we now have this kind of like forward kick, which I really like. Oh, the figure four. Okay. I... I could have sworn that it's a chain grab, but whatever. But yeah, we don't get, uh, whatchamacallit. We don't get, there's one move, I think it's just like back free, and it's like a spin and kick. Like, we don't get that just yet. But, uh, in general, I feel pretty comfortable with lore in most Tekken games. And this is where, like, he, like, I really liked lore in Tekken 3, and also 1 and 2. But also, I've just played less 1 and 2, so, uh, 3 is my main 
kind of entry point for the series. For, just like as I imagine it would be for a lot of people, because I feel like Tekken 3 was where a lot of people were like, Yo, Tekken? I say that, I was like one when Tekken 3 came out. And speaking of law, I guess we have to fight him now. Okay. Okay, okay, we have a mirror match. This could be okay. I say that, watch as I now lose the mirror match, and it's really embarrassing. I mean, I already messed up the input for Dragon Tail, so we're off to a flying start when it comes to the losing Olympics. Okay. Uh, we may lose this round. No. We can come back. We can still win this. I just want to I want to land that kick at least once. Okay. Okay, we do lose the first round. And honestly, this kind of worries me because uh, if I lose, it means I'm going to have to be a different character and I'm probably more confident with Law than any other character in this game. Also, like, I haven't been paying much- I haven't really kept track. Who have I not had yet? I haven't had- I haven't had Hurang. I haven't had King. I haven't had Jin. I haven't had Heihachi. But other than that, I think I've had, like, the entire roster. Have I had Kuma and Panda? I don't know. Either way, I feel like... Oh, this is winnable. Okay. Big kick? That grab... That grab, like, it looks like it would be so painful. <laughs> uh, I just need one hit. I need one hit. Got him. Whew, that was close. Okay, so, up next is the final stage, where we fight Heihachi Mishima. And, uh, so, this is the one where everyone makes fun of Heihachi's outfit. It's, admittedly... It isn't great, it isn't, it wouldn't be the outfit I would choose for Heihachi to have, however, I understand that it's like a kind of traditional Japanese combat garb or something. Like, I know that it's a fundoshi and I think it has like origins in sumo or something. Uh, someone please correct me if I am wrong, but yeah. So, hopefully, let's just get through this without too much hassle. And, of course, I get Nina for this, so we are absolutely not winning first try. I mean, I say that, but, I mean, I mean, I managed to beat Christy first try with her. I don't know, like, how that matchup works. Like, I don't know if it's meant to be a winning matchup for one side or the other, or if it's a pretty balanced one. But, hey, we'll just do what we can and see how this goes. Okay, so... And one hit. Perfect. We, uh, nice. Okay, we got the first round. Fantastic. Also, I will say, I do love this stage. It, it's just like, the kind of metal octagon is, well, one, it looks really cool. And two, I just really like the music for this stage. And honestly, music for fighting games is so important. I mean, music in games in general is important. But I feel like it's just such an important element, especially especially in fighting games. games. But yeah, I feel like Tekken has always been up there with like the best for its music. Okay, that this uh, first round, sorry, this final round is not looking the best for me. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna lose here. But you know what? This is doable. We can still win. Like, I know that I can... I mean, I say that, but uh... You know what? This is... Okay, yeah, we lose. Okay. But well, that's fine. That's fine. Nina isn't a character I'm con confident with. Funnily enough, I've always liked Anna more. Okay, Wakuma. 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 So, let's, uh, well, hopefully manage to, uh, do some bear combos. I say that. I have no idea how to play Kuma. But, honestly, my knowledge of playing Kuma is basically do that uppercut into a kick or something. Like, I mean, historically, it kind of works. And... Uh, okay, we got first round pretty comfortably. Very nice. Very nice. So, let's just, uh, hopefully finish this out. Get him with that. And, yeah, that combo doesn't quite work. Also, weird thing about Tekken 4, it's the only Tekken where Jack isn't a playable character. Like, that's weird to me. Like, where's Jack 4? Because from Tekken 7, we know that Jack 4s exist. 
but like you just you just do you just can't play him. Did like I guess maybe it was like hey two robots might be a bit at March. Okay, so, with that, we have successfully managed to defeat Tekken 4. Oh, uh, you know, it took a few more attempts than I would have expected. Honestly, I expected to just breeze verse, but as it turns out, it went a bit, bit more challenging than I expected it to. So, I'm going to quickly just go to Fear Emerald for music real quick. Okay, and, uh, yeah, I'll just set this away. It, and, yeah. Basically, I am just going to bring up a thing to say, like, who did I lose to? How many times did I lose to them? I think... Actually, it was pretty comfortable throughout the entire thing. I don't think I lost to anyone more than once or twice. So, I'm pretty happy with how that went. And now we can also bring up the, the thing to say, like, hey, how many times did we lose against, like, other games just in general? I feel like this definitely falls on the lower side. It's not the lowest, but it's probably, like, bottom three or four or in terms of how many continues i took okay so uh yeah i'm pretty happy with how that played out and i can also update the little graphic thing yes the, sil the silhouettes might make it really obvious for or who some of the characters are in some of the games but uh with that i'm i'm good well hopefully uh you'll be looking forward to the future ones but I'm going to end this one off here, so as always, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined, and I will hopefully see you all, all tomorrow, or, or next time, for what for the next episode, or, or whatever I, I, you are going to watch next, I guess, as on our path to Evo. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.